Hi, hey, team. Welcome to Misty, where running large language models or LLMs is just a click of a button away. Whether you're a researcher, developer, or an AI enthusiast, Misty is designed with you in mind. And if you've never used an LLM before, don't worry, because Misty is perfect for you as well. Having a local LLM is powerful, but it often comes with complexities, such as understanding command line, Git repositories, database and server management, the list goes on and on. Misty's here to change that narrative. With a user-friendly interface and a suite of advanced tools, Misty empowers you to harness the potential of AI without the usual headaches and hurdles. In this video, we'll dive into the world of Misty, showcasing what makes it stand out from other similar apps and why it's my default tool and my current recommendation for anyone wanting to explore this space. Misty isn't just another AI tool, it's really a gateway into efficiently managing and deploying LLMs. First up, Misty's installation is a breeze. Misty supports both Windows and Mac platforms, ensuring you get up and running in no time. Misty is also built with privacy in mind. When you're chatting with local models, no data ever leaves your machine. You can even chat with Misty when in airplane mode. Today, we're going to walk through the install and setup of Misty. We'll take a look at their intuitive user interface designed for optimal user experience. If it's your first time using a tool like this, we'll have you up and running by the end of the video. For the Season Pro, Misty's design makes AI work for you. Customize your AI experience with advanced configuration options. Misty gives you control over your LLMs, allowing you for tailored outputs that meet your specific needs. We'll explore these in more detail in a future video. For now, let's get started. Click on the download link, and on your Mac, we'll choose our proper platform and save. And we'll load it up. Now, just like any other Mac install, we'll drag the app icon over to Applications. And then we'll come to Applications here and click on Misty. Since this is the first time, it's gonna ask us uh, if we're okay with that, we'll say yes. Now we do have the option here of using a local package or providing an API key. Misty supports both OpenAI's GPT-4 models, which are really popular, and Mistral, which also has some really great models. For today, we're gonna click on the Setup Local Text AI instead. Now, when we click this option, we are going to download a specific model, in this case, Tiny Dolphin, to our machine. And that's what you can see happening here. It's downloading the model. Now, note that this tells us it's going to require 637 megabytes of storage space and 2 gigabytes of memory. Pretty good place to start. We'll talk about other models in the future, but know that for right now, we are accessing the Internet. We're pulling that model, downloading it uh, in order for Misty to use it, and we'll be local from here on out. Once that's finished downloading, it'll take just a couple seconds to configure, and then we'll be in for our first chat via Misty. And there we have it. Now we're in. Misty is launched. If you look up here at the top, we'll notice that we're already in a chat window with our model Tiny Dolphin. Let's go ahead and just give this a try and see uh, how things work with this model. Um, you know what? It's Cold today. I want to make something warm to eat. About now, as you can see, Tiny Dolphin here gives me a response for a beef and potato soup uh, using frozen veggies, giving me kind of a great recipe here. Um, now, what if I didn't quite like that? I could keep going here and I could say, uh, Maybe something more tomato, basil based. And you can see the model keeps going. It's holding this in context, which we'll get to uh, in future videos. Uh, but now I have a fresh new recipe. One of the first and most interesting features about Misty is that I can come back up here to any of these responses and I can actually edit and refine the prompt. So. Okay, this was kind of correct with the um, beef soup, but let's say we just wanted to use chicken. Let's 
adjust this to use chicken only. Now I'm getting that response right in line here. The recipe has been updated and notice now instead of beef and potato soup, we have chicken. We also have chicken throughout the recipe here. Uh, one of many features here just hidden right behind the user interface that I really like that Misty provides. We can easily start a new chat by clicking uh, the new chat button up here and beginning again. And real quickly, I thought we'd run through just a few of the settings here to give you a sense for how powerful Misty really is. Our recent chats are held back here so we can always go back and revisit them. And here next to the chat window, when I click on this icon, I can see an entire prompt library. Now prompt library is really thought of as like the context for your large language models. This gives it a role to play or a scenario that it believes uh, it should take uh, as the starting point for the conversation. When you look through here, you can see Misty contains 161 of these different profiles out of the box. You can choose any prompt you want and begin a conversation. Maybe I want to get some advice on an article I'm writing uh, or some art that I'm working on. You can go through here and see a chief executive officer. There's lots of options for you to explore. Choosing one couldn't be simpler. We just find one here. Let's say uh, I want to have a debate coach and click the arrow icon. Now I've got a starting point for the prompt here. Uh, so that's a very nice feature, something that's very easy to use. Additionally, as you have multiple models, they'll appear down, appear down here. And you can also choose this uh, settings icon to configure things like the temperature of the icon. Now that controls diversity and creativity of the model. Uh, but generally, I typically leave these right at their default. Most folks find that they get the best performance at those settings. And then over here on the far left, if I click on the person icon, this is where I can go ahead and add those API keys. So if I did want to talk with ChatGPT4 or with Mistral, uh, you can do that here by simply selecting the model and then entering your API key. Again, doing that will send your information to the cloud provider and then back down. So you're not local when using those options. They also have a really great dark theme, which I actually prefer. Uh, the changelog is here. This dev team is working quickly, bringing new features rapidly uh, out for folks to try. And then the final thing here, if you click on help and discussion, you can join the Discord server. Uh, they've got an active and growing community there. The dev team is also there. So if you have questions, thoughts, something you'd like to try or just maybe not quite sure about, the Discord server is a great place to join in and get started uh, and participate in the conversation. Now, obviously, we're just getting started with Misty. Misty's more than just an app, it's really a revolution in making LLMs accessible to everyone. Easy installation, intuitive design, and comprehensive support on Discord, it's all in one package. Now it's your turn. Dive into the world of Misty and see for yourself how it can transform your AI projects. Download Misty today and start your journey towards effortless AI. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights and making the most of your AI endeavors with Misty. Together, let's simplify the future of AI. Thanks kindly for watching and have a great day.